What's up everybody welcome back to exotic as logic again and today we will as promised discuss on the topic which is very fundamental in every astrological chart and in our understanding of astrology yes planets that are placed in trines to each other not in trines in trines to each other yes last video was on placement of planets in kendra to each other <coughs> yes and this video is on planets in trines to each other always remember to each other not in trines we will discuss on planets in trines some other day but today's video is on planets in trines to each other what if saturn and venus are in trines to each other yes <coughs> again if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and keep watching till the end i'm sure you will love it <laughs> and if you like this video then watch my other videos on the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam and so many other playlists i have made only for you to watch <laughs> my dream is to create a vedic renaissance a revolution of the scriptural wisdom that has been dormant from the pages of vedic india and bring it to the world to westerners to foreigners to also to those indians who have left their own culture unfortunately but very soon i will make them all attracted again to the divine culture of the scriptures yes there you go planets in trines to each other and if you have not watched the earlier video on planets to in kendra to each other please watch that that will help you to understand this video more yes just the previous video on this playlist now what are the trines trines are known as trikonas and there are different trikonas first is the dharma trikon the first fifth and the ninth houses yes these three are dharma trikon means it represents the first house the fifth house and the ninth house which means they represent we as a person yes they represent our purpose in life what we are made of lagna is you the person your thinking your thought process your ideals that is the lagna the fifth house represents what you value in life value doesn't mean money the second house is the house of value but fifth house means fifth house basically is the reason why you get up in the morning <laughs> fifth house basically is the reason why you are motivated to do things in life fifth house is the house which is the best house in the horoscope because it is the house of projection what you project into this world and because of that fourth house becomes very important because fourth house is your mind if there is a difficulty in the mind your projection is wrong then there's a trouble in the ninth house also well we'll go to the trouble later <laughs> but what is ninth house ninth house is the house of our father just like fifth house is the house of our children and lagna is ourselves yes so you see this it is like a dynasty it is like your father then you then your son or your daughter yes irrespective of that either you have a son or you have a daughter the first child is the fifth house there's no doubt on that okay that means you your son and your father are connected they are very much connected because the dna is getting transferred so trikon is very important because the dna comes from the trikon that means the trikon behaves similarly similarly means every house of the trikon behaves in a similar manner what do i mean by that for example if there is any planet in the first house fifth house or ninth house it will have a very dominant impact on your personality inside i am not talking of outside i am talking of inside here you call it persona you call it personality you call it behavior whatever you want to call it i will not go into that debate similarly i will explain to i will explain that what it means that it is similar 
now you take another example you take the other trikon yes you take the third house and you take the seventh house and you take the eleventh house and similarly the second house sixth house and the tenth house and then the last trikon is the fourth house eighth house and the twelfth house we all know what these trikonas are yes names the first trikon is dharma trikon the second trikon is artha trikon the third is kama trikon and the fourth is moksha trikon now see when a planet is in the third house it is like it is not like exactly but it is like the planet is also sitting in 711 do you understand no <laughs> Does it seem contradictory? How can a planet be in three places simultaneously? No, it is not. Because it is having a planet in the third house is having the color of the seventh house and the eleventh house. See, I'm sitting relaxed and I'm telling. It means similarly, if a planet is in tenth house, tenth house, it is having the color of the second house and the sixth house and it will also put its colors in the second house and the sixth house is it understood similarly if a planet is in the eighth house then also it will have the color of the planets which are in the fourth house and the twelfth house <coughs> and it will also exert its own traits to the planets in the fourth and the twelfth house if there's any planet in the eighth house now let me go in detail what does it mean <coughs> let me explain the moksha trikon moksha trikon fourth house eighth house twelfth house like i said for the dharma trikon the dna is getting transferred there you got the dna from your father and you will transfer it to your child now take the example of kama uh, this uh, moksha trikon the fourth house eighth house and the twelfth house what is fourth house fourth house is the day day doesn't mean sunlight fourth house is actually when the sun is not not there in the sky it is the time of midnight i'm not saying day means when sun is in the tenth house i do not mean that i simply mean to say that fourth house is the conscious mind which you have in during the day yes and twelfth house is the house of sleep and 8th house is the house of rejuvenation. That is why 8th house is the house of life and death. Revival. Sanjeevani. Mrita Sanjeevani which Shukrachari had from Lord Shiva. That is also seen from the 8th house. That is why Venus connected to the 8th house can make a person uh, immortal in one sense. We will go to that later in some other video. But what I am trying to say here is every trikon is very much related to each other. That means if there is a problem in any house or if any planet is in trouble for example if there is a malefic in the fourth house for example you take suppose saturn is placed there and when i'm talking of malefics let's consider the natural malefics saturn mars sun rahu ketu sun let us keep it in a question mark because sun is a mild malefic the only problem with sun is it gives a lot of ego which which causes suffering yes anyways now suppose saturn is in the 12th house uh, sorry fourth house <coughs> so what did i say saturn will put its colors in the 12th house and the 8th house what do you mean by that fourth house is the house of your conscious mind okay eighth house is the house of hidden things the baggage which you have the psychological unsorted issues that is the eighth house and twelfth house represents your subconscious mind when you are resting because it is the house of sleep look i am going to sleep no no i will not sleep i will make this video and then i will sleep anyways today we have diwali celebration so i will go to the celebration after this but before going i thought i have to make this video and go yes that means whenever saturn is in the fourth house now I, I am not taking into consideration and i am not giving a blind statement that saturn is not good in the fourth house i am just considering a normal scenario just to give you an example of how the concept of trikon works 
if saturn is in the fourth house then the fourth house the conscious mind is having a trait to always be unhappy with things because whatever the person has he feels that that is not enough for me because saturn is the karaka for poverty so even if he is a billionaire he will think that i am a pauper inner satisfaction is not there when saturn is in the fourth house because saturn shows our denials our deprivations it shows delays and disappointments but in worst case if saturn is very badly placed in some house it can actually deny things of that house yes now how is saturn in the fourth house affecting the eighth house and the twelfth house so during the day what you are is more of the fourth house yes what you think how you behave what 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 your emotional state is what is your conception of happiness what is your conception of resting being good the purity that is the fourth house now what is eighth house eighth house is the house which gets activated when you get up because what happens when you get up you are getting rejuvenated right and eighth house deals with that time when you are getting up and you are going to the bathroom clearing your bowels etc you are taking bath that is the eighth house my god <laughs> and what is 12th house 12th house is the house of sleep 12th house is the house when you wind up everything and you go to rest because it is 7 from the 6th house 6th house is the house of work so when your work finishes the completion is the 7th house any house 7th from any house is the completion so your completion of the lagna is the spouse completion of the 6th house that is that means when work is completed you go and sleep right <laughs> that means saturn if sitting in the 4th house will also affect the 12th house and the 8th house which simply means that if saturn is in the 4th it will also affect your getting up and your sleeping it can deprive you from sleep you may think oh my god my saturn is not in the 12th house nor it is aspecting the 12th house nor it is with the 12th lord why am i having difficulty in sleeping <coughs> why am i having insomnia but you forgot to see where saturn is placed <laughs> because it is very obvious the things are related if saturn is there in the fourth house and throughout the day if you are not able to be happy then how will you be happy when you are sleeping or how will you get sleep basically and how will you be happy when you are awake that is why most of the people they say whenever they undergo any relationship trauma or any difficulty that affects them <coughs> very badly yes of course the relationship can break but where it affects ultimately the breakup or the divorce or a quiet quarrel among the friends yes some serious issue with somebody who you love and admire very much they can be anybody your mother father spouse it terribly affects the fourth house and then what happens immediately the person is miserable throughout the day and you will see them complaining about insomnia they will not get sleep and as soon as they want to sleep they go into this depression zone and as soon as they want to get up which is the 8th house they will again go into depression there you go <laughs> that means if planets are in trikon to each other yes as i said the four trikonas dharma trikon artha trikon kama trikon and moksha trikon <coughs> then they will try to impact each other and give each other their colors and also take and they will support also kendra is the house which sustains you 
sustains you means it sustenance is always a upward vector do you understand what is upward vector upward vector means if you are to sustain in this world you cannot be idle you have to go you have to work you have to do things you have to get married i mean if you have to get married then if you have, you have to have a job if you are a man and then if you want to work you will need skill if you want to buy home you will need money yes kendra is sustenance it is a very dynamic house house means the kendra houses are very dynamic they are always evolving trikonas are not that dynamic which means you internally as a person well that also evolves if there is spirituality otherwise it is all same <laughs> otherwise there's not much evolvement because the soul is getting entrapped in the bodies and it is changing the conception of what it thinks is right and wrong which is the fifth house because see lagna is the body the soul and then fifth house is your conception of what is right wrong what will give you happiness basically fifth house is the house which tells you what will give you happiness but if the ninth house is not there which is the house of spirituality you will not be able to connect both of them then your conception that spiritual happiness is the ultimate benediction ultimate blessing in somebody's life in our life that connection that conception will not be reinstantiated and again and again and again you will run behind materialistic things and you will suffer that is why i am saying kendras are dynamic but trikonas without spirituality is not dynamic it is very static it doesn't change much now you will say no you are wrong how can you say that you don't change as a person you are wrong you are so wrong people evolve people change people improve people become mature well that is true i am not saying you do not evolve at all but ultimately if you are not having spiritual wisdom you are in this material realm at the end of the day you are still here you is the lagna nothing has changed i mean what's the use <laughs> if again you have to take birth and learn a b c d what is the use of your getting mature what is the use of your getting uh what you say intelligence what is the use of you becoming very strong it's probably of no use or perhaps whatever you want to put there only if the ninth house is there then only you can claim that i am moving towards a different journey which will uplift the lagna that is why fifth and ninth houses are placed in trikonas because fifth house is your conception of what will give you happiness and then the ninth house is the house of spirituality so these two have to be in harmony yes if one is there without the other it's a disaster it's worst actually i will tell you why when i say harmony i simply mean to say that see parashara could have given uh, seventh house in harmony with the ninth house but parashara is not given like that harmony means in trines support but why parashara has given the fifth house in harmony with the ninth house why not 11th house why not 10th house why not second house why not third house only two houses in harmony with the fifth house and the lagna is the first fifth yes those three houses they are in harmony with each other so you and your thought process what you think will give you happiness which is the fifth house has to be in harm both of them see you and the fifth house the lagna and the fifth house have to be in harmony with god otherwise the trikon is not functioning <laughs> that is why you see people even if they advance very much in materialistic life even up to the position of a prime minister or a president or a king of a country the moment some allurement comes they will get swayed away if he is not connected to the higher source that will happen i can go on quoting you examples and names 
but then you will say oh i am a judgmental person <laughs> well you can say that that's up to you whatever you want to call me but the fifth house the so called house of love and romance the so called house of children those are secondary fifth house is basically in short the definition that which things will give me happiness in this world may not be of this world anything which gives me happiness that will be defined by the fifth house yes so similarly the ninth house has to be in harmony with the fifth house that means whenever you are doing spirituality any spiritual practice you have to do it with all heart and soul if you are doing it as a official ceremony like sometimes people in india they will do suppose you are born in a brahmin family so called brahmin family <laughs> then there are some puja and some pandits have come to do some rituals and then the father father tells the child my dear son go there give him this give him that my dear daughter go and do this go and do that and they will be like yes papa i am doing yes papa <laughs> that papa thing will not work in the ninth house if you stay in the level of papa yes papa yes mama i am sorry you will make zero advancement if you do not include the fifth house in the ninth house which is what love that is why fifth house is the house of love if you do not do things with love in matters of god you can chant a million mantras you can go to a million temples that is why you see people they will go and say that i did this i did that nothing worked out <laughs> Ninth house can only help you if you you means what? Who is you? You is the lagna. So the ninth house can only help the lagna if the fifth house is in harmony. Do you understand? There you go. <laughs> so similarly, considering the case of planets in three corners to each other, this example I gave you for the first, fifth, and ninth to explain to you how important it is. to have spiritual knowledge to have spiritual wisdom otherwise the most terribly suffering house is the lagna because can you imagine the lagna is put by parashar muni in harmony with the ninth house it's a terrible situation <laughs> if the ninth house is not there <laughs> where are you standing sir you are not standing you are dead basically you are sitting down like a dead corpse see the situation of the people who are not having spiritual wisdom as the shrimad bhagavatam says manorathe na sati dhavato bahi they are running in the chariot of the mind chariot of the mind which is that house it is the fifth house today i love this boy tomorrow i love that girl sometimes we are maybe we fall in love with the people of the same same gender also and after some time you will say oh we have fallen in love with animals yes they will start uh, all the perversity will start slowly slowly and then what happens you go in the chariot of your mind manoratha which means okay today the mind is telling oh that girl is beautiful i will go after that girl but suddenly you realize she is not that beautiful <laughs> when you go near and see then what your mind says look to her she is more beautiful then you go there suddenly you see no 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 i think she is more sweet then i will go there i will not go to the first and the second girl that is why people they tell me that the person with whom they promise to spend the rest of their lives with yes suddenly when they see each other sometimes they behave and pretend as if they have never seen each other how come it is happening like that i am not talking of superficial love here i am talking even within the society we see that when some strong commitment is given then after some time when the relationship breaks apart when people see each other they may behave as if oh, we never saw each other when when was the day we met yes that means they were running in the manorath chariot of the mind today the mind is jumping here mind is like the monkey today the mind is jumping from this girl to that girl 
from this handsome man to that handsome man to this rich person to that rich person today shah rukh khan is famous tomorrow somebody else will be famous in the re- in the arena of my father kapil dev was very famous but now maybe sachin tendulkar was famous in our in our arena in the generation which i got up um, i was bro- born and brought up but now my cousin brother he doesn't know who is sachin tendulkar of course he knows who sachin is <laughs> but he doesn't know sachin that way because when he started seeing cricket there was not much glamorization of sachin tendulkar remaining in the media because sachin had already retired by that time or maybe he was about to retire or maybe they understood that he is not going to play anymore so there you see today sachin tendulkar tomorrow kapil dev maybe next day somebody else so if the lagna has to be in harmony it has to be in harmony with the ninth house otherwise it's a disaster so therefore a planet in the dharma trikon which is the first fifth and ninth it will have a very strong impact on ourselves it will give a very strong color of itself into our inner nature very strong for example if mars is in the fifth house it is like having mars in the first and ninth because the dna the dna has the component of mars in that dna means the thing which is sustaining you that which is making you from your father and then that will go because see fifth house mars means martian traits will be prominent in your first child now how in the universe can martian traits be prominent in your child first child if you don't have that because your when you and your wife or your husband unite only then the first child is born otherwise the child cannot be born that means he is getting the component from you and how did you get that component you got from your father yes so there you see <laughs> now you understand what is trikon so similarly if mars is in the second house the person is very determined for money which means the person is very hard working because it is like having mars in the sixth house and he is also very focused towards career because it's something very obvious if you don't work hard in your career how will you get money which is the second house that is why 2 6 10 are trikonas 3 7 11 the other trikon if suppose jupiter is placed in 3 7 11 in kali yuga it is perhaps the best placement to have it's not the best i'm telling you it is the best of the best of the best placement to have jupiter in 3 7 11 although in traditional astrology it is not considered very good it's a disaster to have jupiter in 3711 as per traditional astrology because they are the kama houses the airy houses of desire sexuality and all these things so when jupiter goes there he dies <laughs> but in kaliuga what is happening is the kama houses are becoming very prominent and especially the 11th house 11th house is the house of networking socializing gathering and all these things are becoming very prominent so when jupiter is in the third house or seventh house or 11th house then it has a greater the native has a greater potential these days to go and join a spiritual organization which is perhaps the, which, which is undoubtedly the best thing that can happen to the person in this life yes so similarly if venus is in the fourth house then the person if the other combinations and the other placements of the horoscope are supporting yes because venus is a natural benefit it gets directional strength in the fourth house then these people will also be very fresh when they get up they will not be in depression and they will also have a good sleep because fourth house venus will place its color in the 12th house and in the 8th house 
so similarly if venus and saturn are placed in trines to each other then what it means that venus is trying to impart its qualities into saturn and saturn is trying to impart its qualities into venus this is a very good placement to have because now venus will respect the traits of saturn which is what duty discipline commitment structure having a long term vision uh, saturn is not more of the vision saturn is more of the uh, ability to do things per persevere what you say so those things are very good for venus you see because then the person will be very realistic in matters of marriage relationships he will keep his expectations very grounded this can be a very good placement to have similarly if venus and rahu are in trines to each other then the person now see that means venus and rahu are affecting each other it is like they are in the same place <laughs> then what is happening they these people will have a fascination to marry somebody from a different religion different culture different creed different caste or if things are extremely worse then these people may want to marry people from their same gender also if things are very bad which is a perversion because rahu is the significator of perversion i am talking from astrology here i am not going into debates of homosexuality or if that is good or bad i am just talking of astrology here rahu is the karaka for perversion perversion means what it is cloud you do not see or what you see you think is correct that is why if you ask somebody who is perverted suppose there is a rapist who goes on raping people raping women you go and ask the person my dear sir how can you do this he will say what is the problem i mean women are meant to be enjoyed they are sex objects right that's what rahu makes him believe rahu and venus in trines can make a person a rapist because he will believe <laughs> See, Rahu has the power to eclipse the sun and moon. Also, that means he can affect the Rahu has the power to affect the ego and the manas. That means Rahu can convince a person because Rahu gets exalted in Gemini, which is the sign of marketing, speaking, trying to make a deal. So Rahu convinces you. If Rahu is in trines to Venus or conjunct. then the person can be convinced that of whatever thinking he has about women that can be very convincing to him because the cloud is there he doesn't see that so he may think that every woman is meant for my enjoyment so i can do anything whatever i want so that's perversity there you go <laughs> venus k2 in trines to each other the person doesn't know what he wants in relationships these are the typical people i have seen they will say i don't want these five traits in my partner but then what do you want oh that i don't know <laughs> or they have certain conceptions of relationships which are which will never materialize in reality that is what happens when venus and ketu are in trines to each other rahu is too much and ketu is nothing <laughs> and of course jupiter venus in trines to each other that's very good to have that means the person can be very spiritual also <laughs> because now jupiter has been aff affected by venus if the situation is good provided in this case jupiter has to be more well placed then venus this is how you decide if two contradictory planets are there in trines to each other which of them will be more powerful this is how you decide do you understand which means that if jupiter and venus are in trines to each other 
how do you know which will affect each which one of the two will affect the other more for that you have to see their dignity for example if jupiter is in cancer in exaltation and venus if it has to be in trines to cancer then it will either be in cancer or scorpio or pisces the watery signs in that case if venus is also exalted this is the perfect combination to have perfect i mean it can't be better than this then his spirituality and his materialistic life will go very harmoniously but suppose jupiter is in aquarius and venus is in libra now jupiter doesn't like aquarius venus loves libra so then what will happen spirituality will always have the component of luxury in it because whenever he wants to do something spiritual venus is in trine so he has to honor venus which means if suppose there is a kumbh mela which is a very big festival in india which goes on once in 10 years 12 years and there are different many other festivals like that once in 20 years and there are different festivals in different parts of the country for example in south india there is a festival in one temple which happens once in 24 years or 36 years okay so if even if such rare festivals come up sometimes these people if jupiter is suppose in aquarius or gemini and venus is in libra then these people if suppose i call these people and i say that my dear sir kumbh mela is coming please come then these people will be like no no but will i get a flight ticket <laughs> will i get a ac room to sleep there will i get good food will i get a uh, air conditioned taxi to rome inside kumbh mela see how luxury is impacting spirituality on the other hand if jupiter is powerful the example which i gave suppose venus is in scorpio and jupiter is in cancer then whenever it comes to mundane things he will always insert spirituality there whenever he meets somebody he will only talk of spirituality and there was a christian one of my friend who had this combination jupiter was in trines to venus they are in trines to each other and jupiter was extremely powerful in a fire sign so then i asked this person his name is john so when i inquired from him that what you were looking for because he got married through the system of arranged marriage in india and they had a christian matrimony where they searched uh, for profiles and then they finally got married so then he told me that the only criteria that i wanted my wife to have was she should be a religious girl she should be a follower of christianity follower doesn't mean just lip service i go to the temple but she should uh, sorry go to the church every sunday in the sunday uh, what you call that meet <laughs> but i should be uh, she should be following she should be praying she should be reading the bible she should have knowledge of christianity she should she should be a devout follower to god basically yes <laughs> so there spirituality is affecting venus so that means whenever he tries to activate venus that jupiter in trines is throwing its light my dear sir have a look i am sitting here but that is happening only because jupiter is more powerful than venus in the earlier example venus was more powerful than jupiter so venus affected jupiter and now jupiter is affecting venus whenever he wants venus which is his wife not whenever i mean only once he Uh, i mean he has married and he has a daughter now he is very happy staying in south india so now he when he wanted to get married he was searching for jupiterian traits in the girl <laughs> there you go planets in trines to each other all right it's been a very long video that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know in the comment section or else until next time wish you good luck in analyzing planets in 
trines to each other okay bye bye see you